The HAL Tejas MK2 is one of India's most anticipated defence projects, representing a significant step forward in the country's aerospace and military aviation capabilities. Designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, and manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, this advanced fighter jet is the successor to the Tejas MK1 and MK1A variants. Unlike its predecessor, which was categorized as a light combat aircraft, the Tejas MK2 is a medium-weight fighter, designed to replace aging aircraft in the Indian Air Force such as the Mirage 2000, Jaguar, and MiG-29. What sets the Tejas MK2 apart is its enhanced design, upgraded avionics, and improved combat capability. The aircraft features a longer fuselage and bigger wings, allowing it to carry more fuel and weapons. It is powered by the General Electric F414 Gen 6 engine, giving it a thrust of 98 kN, see considerably more than the F404 engine used in the Tejas MK1. This translates into better speed, climb rate, and overall agility. It can reach speeds of Mach 1.8 and operate at a range of over 2,500 km with external fuel tanks. The cockpit of the Tejas MK2 is fully glass, with a wide area multi-function display that provides the pilot with real-time information. It also incorporates a digital fly-by-wire flight control system, making it easier to maneuver, especially during high-stress combat situations. The aircraft is designed to be highly versatile, equipped with 11 hard points that can carry a mix of air-to-air, air-to-ground, and precision-guided munitions. It is compatible with a range of weapon systems, including indigenous missiles like the Astro Beyond Visual Range BVR, missile and the Brumoseng, which is still under development. Another major advantage of the Tejas MK2 is its use of stealth technologies. The design incorporates radar-absorbent materials and a reduced radar cross-section, making it more difficult to detect by enemy radars. It also includes an onboard radar warning receiver and electronic warfare suite, offering superior survivability in hostile environments. India's push for indigenous defense capabilities is clearly evident in the development of the Tejas MK2. Nearly 70% of the components are expected to be locally sourced, with plans to increase this to over 80% in the coming years. This not only reduces dependency on foreign technology but also supports India's vision of self-reliance under the Make in India initiative. The Tejas MK2 is expected to enter production around 2025, with its first flight scheduled for late 2024. The Indian Air Force has already expressed interest in inducting more than 100 units, marking a major leap in its modernization efforts. Once operational, the Tejas MK2 will strengthen India's air defense capabilities, offering a cost-effective, reliable, and powerful alternative to imported aircraft. With cutting-edge features, advanced weaponry, and a strong emphasis on indigenous development, the HAL Tejas MK2 is truly a game-changer for India's military aviation future. Let me know if you'd like a version with headings, subtitles, or tailored for a specific audience, for example, defense enthusiasts, general viewers, or younger audiences.